Dude, I think you'll have to keep that salad away from Grant because he's Ooh. he's ready to go for it, man. Ooh. He's ready to go for it. Now, you know when uh, Bob begs for food, yeah. when dogs do that, I want to do that for the yeah, salad. Don't, don't, that crazy. would be very embarrassing. Don't do that. But anyway, yesterday we were talking about some great stuff happening in the world of technology and how it could really change our lives and the, really, the potential of technology to transform the, 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 the lives of people, not just people in general, but uh, people with disabilities. is endless. This morning we just uh, saw Kylie Mycroft uh, on, a, on a motorized wheelchair and how that really gave her passion for dancing wings to fly. So uh, an Another great example of this uh, is a, a, a robotic arm that was developed for a 53-year-old German lady called Jan Sherman. Now, she was diagnosed with spinocerebellar de degeneration at the age of 13, and she was left paralyzed from the neck down. But now, because of this new robotic arm and this ro robotic technology, she can now feed herself with this arm. Uh, it even allows her to control it with her mind, obviously, and then um, it, it allows her to judge how tightly she's gripping certain objects. And this is really, really cool, right? I mean, we've got footage of it right there. Yes, yes. How how amazing she's, is this dude? Yeah, she she's actually she's 53 and it was diagnosed 13 years ago. Mm. So it was it's a relatively new technology that that they, what they they come up with. Pretty much what they've done is they've invested a hundred million dollars at the University of Pittsburgh to put two electrodes in the back of uh, into her cerebral cortex that allows her to control her right arm. So that part of the brain. I'm not a brain surgeon, so I'm not too sure which part of the brain that is. Okay. But what happens is she can now after after a week's worth of uh, getting used to this uh, she, uh, she got some motion m movement in it and after after two months she has full 360 degree movement with this arm and you can see that it's it's very very accurate um, w with you know with the, with the motor skills excuse the pun uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so accurate, in fact, that she can even feed herself a chocolate. Uh, wow. The only problem, though, with the technology is that it is still lab-based. It's really big and bulky, mm -hmm. and they hope to, in the near future, develop this for uh, you know consumer consumer uh, as a yeah. consumer product in the home, which is extremely important because yeah. 150,000 Americans get diagnosed with this a year. Can you imagine what that's like on a world wow. scale and how many people's lives this could change? Exactly. And that's only yeah. with that disease. Now another. There are other degenerative brain diseases which this can actually help with. That is really amazing. I mean, just imagine doing something as delicate as, as feeding yourself um, a chocolate. That is really, really amazing. Now, we've got a, some footage from uh, Jeanne who made a video and put it on her website. Let's take a look at this amazing story. I used to have to think up, uh, clockwise, down, forward, back. Now I just look at the target and Hector goes there. It's not a matter of thinking which direction anymore. It's just I want to do that, and my brain knows what things to move to make that happen. Today I accomplished a goal that I set before the surgery even took place. My goal is to feed myself chocolate. And I did that today. I fed myself chocolate and then a string cheese, and then a red pepper. Man, that is truly amazing. Wow, did you see that, man? Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen that, that video before, but that was amazing. It's incredible. The opportunities that technology like this can do and help other people is phenomenal. Yeah, and that's why kids at school should start focusing on like maths and science and stuff like that. So you, one day you can develop technology like this that can change people's lives. Really, really amazing. Dude, thank you very much for that story. Really appreciate it. Pleasure. Uh, now, as you know, last weekend we played uh, some beach volleyball. Yes. And you weren't there because you say you Because I don't play. have a 12-pack like you. <laughs> what is this? And uh, the sh team, the Sweet Life, uh, won this, uh, the, this, the whole tournament. And uh, we're going to get to know more about it. But uh, Leanne isn't here, man. You know where she is? Yeah, she's in Seychelles. Oh, she's in the Seychelles. Lucky fish! Dude, how jealous mm. are we right now? Really? Hey. Mm.